I need a post ignition positive wire coming off the battery but post ignition meaning that when I turn the key then that wire is hot when I turn the ignition off then the wire is no longer hot and so what I'm thinking is I can access one of those wires inside that console I really don't want to pull the console apart right now because there's going to be things in the future that I want to do and I don't know where all those future things are going to be so eh, seems like I'm gonna to have to pull it apart more than once one thing I'm concerned about is uh, the uh, the brain the little computer for the uh, uh, airbags is down here so I don't want to tilt that and then explode my face with uh, airbags I'm definitely gonna to want to disconnect the battery but I'm gonna to have to move the seat back and forth at least the driver's seat back and forth so I'm gonna move some of these nuts and bolts out of the way before I disconnect the battery there's a side panel that should pop right off and then there seems to be another cover that has a little uh, I don't know maybe a bolt back there so I'm gonna go after those I'm guessing the same bolt pattern is going to be on the driver's side. I'm just going to take my 10 millimeter and see if uh, getting this one off here is going to do anything. So on the other side, this bolt right here on the driver's side, the seat's going to be in the way. So I got the seat moved all the way back. And it's... I just went at it just with the ratchet and the socket. I broke it free, what well, didn't take much, and now I'm just using my hands and my little extension here to get it out of there. Yeah, there wasn't really enough room when I started getting it almost all the way extracted. So the extension was hitting the frame of the seat, so I ended up just going after it using the, uh, the socket with my fingertips, but I got it out just had to move the seat forward now I can access that little tab there in that bolt Hopefully now I can disconnect the battery. I got the seat forward a little bit and I got the positive disconnected, but before I really move this console, I don't think it's gonna matter. I'm just on, like I said, I just don't wanna have an explosion inside the truck. But, um, you know, I'm gonna give it a good 15 minutes for that battery being disconnected. Those four bolts, two on each side up front, they're gonna have to come off because I only got, only got limited motion there. So that's eight 10 millimeter bolts eight each I'm gonna go after this little piece right here so I'm just pulling towards me towards the rear seat
there's four clips. There's one on each side, and then there's two kind of in the middle here on the top. So I noticed I was pulling on it and it wasn't coming out and I'd stressed that corner there so the plastic started fatiguing. Okay, that's not a lot of fun. Okay, I thought there were only four, but there's six. There's two on the bottom, like one here, one here, one here, then there's one here, there's one here. These are the, these are the last two I gotta get, these two here, and I can't get them out. I have a feeling I'm gonna be ordering another part. The clips up there, they didn't come with me. Yeah. So that, that was not easy. Um, but yeah, it just seems like those clips just want to stay there. I'm not putting this back anytime soon. But it is kind of cool now that I got the access to that other panel. And the other auxiliary here. A little bit of a knuckle buster. So there's where the airbag computer is at. It's mounted to the floor pan. But here's what I'm after is this. And I want to know where that wire is coming from. I think I can get in there now. I think I can get in through the console here. That little tab's on the uh, driver's side, so I guess if you come in, I guess if you come in on the passenger side, get this one and then that one. Not too much that one, but this one, this one. Kind of work this corner, get that one. Then that way you're not you're not on that tab so much.
there's the wire I need. So I guess to, to get to that wire, I didn't have to tear all that stuff apart. But um, hey, now I know. Now you guys know too. So it looks like the switch for shifting up and shifting down, that wire is right there and it splits off of the harness and then the part that splits and then goes to the rear. That's for that cigar lighter adapter. Just a heads up that there's a couple terminals in here that I believe they're, they're basic connections for the different switches, auxiliaries, uh, so on and so forth. So like if you have like headlamps, fog lamps, these sorts of things, I believe these are the, the pins. Uh, so all of, all of those are located right there. Well, since I've gone this far, I might as well take that front faceplate off where the uh, USB and audio inputs are. There's another uh, 12 volt cigar lighter adapter thingamajig. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take that apart. Another thing, I want to see what that cigar lighter adapter, that 12 volt supply, looks like in the back because I want to remove it from. There's one in the rear where the rear passenger seats go and I want to remove it I want to use it and I can't seem to can't seem to unplug it from the center console here I'm gonna come in here with my seven millimeter Yeah, there's not a whole lot of slack here. Found a little slack on the USB side. I can't tell which one's USB and which one is for the audio input. Here's a look at the back plate. I can fit my finger behind the back plate, but there's not a lot of space there. Towards the floor pan, there's no space, and then there's maybe an inch and a half as you move upwards. Well, I thought the little blue clip was something that needed to be removed, but apparently not. Usually there's a little safety latch, but you just have to depress the little slot on the bottom of the terminal. Here's a look at the USB and audio inputs. Here's the bottom and then it's coming around to the top. Not quite sure how the cigar lighter pops out of there. Ah, what the heck, I might as well go for the damn USB thing too while I'm here. Well, the USB thing just seemed to pull right out. The uh, the audio input had that little tab. All right, so here's the deal on the cigar lighter. So essentially it needs to push, the metal part needs to push out. The releases are here. So I just had to come in here with my screwdriver and pry this outward because right before it seats, because 
Here it's just about, here it's just about to seat. And there's a damn uh, hole there that this little tab goes into, and there's one on each side. And then, and then that easily slides out. All right, well, it's beer 30. I'm gonna go contemplate my discoveries here. And like I said, the main objective I had was just to get some accessory wire, some post-ignition accessory wire out into this cavity here.